uh, getting to know the writer. Um, we're going to stop at some points and take some questions um, as we can, some from online, some from in-house people. Um, the gentleman sitting next to me is Chris Deal. He's the head of our programming department. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. I am the head of technical support. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Somebody's got their microphone up either too close to their face and um, it's echoing. Thank you. All right. Some things you should know about your writer. Um, if you've got the flip top writer on the, at the back of the um, flip top, if it was closed, right here in the back where I'm pointing at the two hinges here, when it is closed, if you pull on the tabs forward and it does not come open, you're just going to push down on these hinges and you'll hear it snap. And that will allow it to go back into adjustment and open up. Um, turning on the writer, pretty much everybody knows how to turn it on, but you hold down that button for about two seconds and then let go and it'll start booting up. If you don't have your cards in, it's going to stop and say you don't have your card in. Otherwise, it'll keep all the way till you get uh, to the startup screen. Um, in preparing our computer for connecting to the stylus, we want to make sure, hopefully everyone's already got their stylus sync, their active sync installed and set up. Um, also, we're talking about our USB uh, connector. Um, and that's just the either the beige cord or the black cord that you got, as opposed to the one that looks like a telephone cable. Um, that one is your real-time cable. This one is your sync cable where you can do maintenance and bring your files over, upload um, updates, upload your dictionary, upload your uh, page layout if you're on Winner. Exactly. All right. So now what we're going to do now is go ahead and identify the sync port um, which if you take your writer and you look on the side of it, it's white. Your real-time port is black. Now, the only reason I say this to everybody, and, and um, I've done this myself, is I've taken my USB cable and stuck it in my real-time port. It's not a good idea. The writer doesn't like it and it will run away. All right, I'm going to connect that back up. All right. Some of the things that we get are some issues that people have with inserting the cards into the writer. That's a delicate um, slide on the side of your writer where your CF card, which is the bigger of the two cards, slides in. When you put it in, you want to make sure it's going in very nice and easy. If it gets stuck, don't force it. Pull it back out and try again. And when you get to the end of it, there's a little bit more force you're going to put into it because it's where it's going to make contact with the pins and go in. Um, another thing that we talk about um, when we have a lot of people that we uh, deal with is sometimes they'll get to court and they've got a full card. And okay, I'll do with that. Um, and they can't, and it, they're stuck. What are we going to do? The best thing, the fastest, and easiest thing to do is if you have a spare card, turn off the writer, pop out the card, put in a new card. Um, another thing that we can do with the stylus, and I'm going to switch out of this screen just for a second. Maybe. There we go. Is deleting files on the fly. And I'm going to have to start this up. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, but it, uh, I lost my connection because I unplugged it and didn't do it right. Sorry, you guys online, you're hearing my computer make noise. Another way to go ahead and delete files if you're not carrying a spare card with you is you can do it on the fly, right directly off the writer. All right, guys. We're having techno. The technicians are having technical difficulty. Please stand back and don't make eye contact. <laughs> I'm shielding my eyes. Yeah. All right. So, can everyone see my screen? You can see this online, everybody. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is a, a connection from the writer to my computer using something called Microsoft Toys. It allows me to control the writer from my screen. also allows everyone else to see my screen. So I'm stuck. I have no more room on my stylus, uh, on my compact flashcard. So how am I going to delete these files on the fly? If I exit the stylus program by doing File Exit, And we get back to our Windows desktop for uh, the PDA. And then we go to Pro I can do it straight from my computer. And then go to My Computer, not My Documents. And then you're going to go to the Storage card not the SD storage card, the storage card. And then once this opens up, you're going to have a ProCat folder, and we're going to go directly into the ProCat folder. All right, so we had a good question about what type of, um, what card are we talking about specifically. When we're talking about storage card here where I double clicked, um, what that is is the big CF card um, and not the smaller of the two cards that are in the writer. The CF card holds jobs and not, not. Um, <laughs> It doesn't hold your dictionary, which the SD card, which is the slower of the two, holds that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some questions. Anybody online have a question for me? No. Yeah, when we restart it. So we're just trying to get this thing connected again, guys, online. I tapped my computer, but nothing is happening. I'm sorry, Nancy, what does that mean? Sharon Jernt, back. Hi, Sharon. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. You didn't miss much. We had some technical difficulties. Okay, good. So we had to call in a technician. <laughs> All right, so back to where we were. Um, double click on my computer 
and then double click on the storage card double tap no double tap on the card it, you got it okay and now you should be able to see the ProCap folder double click there now this is this is the important part you will see from here that you've got your um, folders in here month and year and this is as you've used Stylus Sync or if you've used Stylus Sync you see that this is how they're formatted out and how we store our stuff is month and year so in these folders contains not only the translated text and I'm gonna go to one from today not only <laughs> translated text but also steno and English I'm sorry and the wave uh, file. Now the WAV file is very very big so if you start deleting old old folders that you've already read on, you've already done everything you can with them, if you're deleting those off of your writer and taking the audio with them, just all the folders by themselves, then what you do is you end up uh, uh, creating a lot of space on that card allowing you to continue. So if I go here and I click on this folder and then I click on this X, it's going to ask me if I want to delete that folder. Now mind you, when I say delete, there is no recycle bin on Windows CE. It is gone. Fini. Voila. There we go. Alright, so I say yes. And I can do this for as many folders as I have confidence in that I've got read in and I'm done with. Okay? So that's On the fly, you've got to get rid of your files. That's a good point um, Chris just made and a good question. The limit on that uh, CF card is 2 gigabytes. Yeah. Somebody asked me something? I said I have an 8 gig in right now, Lisa. Who am I speaking to? Sharon. You got an 8 gig in there? Yes. Interesting. We've had oh. our own little issues past two, uh, 2 gig. That's but... what Jose said earlier when I talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. I mean, I hope that, that works. As long as it is working, I guess everything's legal till you get caught. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's deleting uh, files from the CF card. Um, tapping on the screen, you know, some people like to use the end of this, but this might have some sharp corners. The end of a pen cap might have some sharp, ragged corners. Um, a pen is not good because it's got ink on it. Um, your fingernails, not a good idea because sometimes you're just not used to how long they are. You go right through it. And then also... Uh, people like to use their fingertips, uh, but our fingertips and our fingers have oils and all that kind of fun stuff, and who knows where they've been. And we don't want to put those on our screens because it will deteriorate them. So there's the fun stuff about um, the writer. So now what we're going to talk about are all of the uh, drop-down menus that we have in the stylus, um, like here we go file edit we're just gonna go through the different things because we do have some new stuff out there and if uh, you're not on current support you probably don't have some of these things um, uh, but they are some of the stuff that uh, a lot of our clients have been asking for so uh, they did get uh, included in this last update so in this one which is the file menu which is the first one I clicked on is new file when we click on new file if we go file and then new what it's going to do is close the job that we're in saving it along with the audio and automatically open a new job 
reinitialize the dictionaries, and reinitialize the translator. And that's just a really quick way. You don't have to turn off the writer, turn it back on to start a new job. Um, and the next thing down after you hit File New is File uh, Open slash Append. What this means is you can go back to an existing job on the writer and open it up and write to it and append audio to it um, so that um, so that you can continue a, a, a previous session. The next thing down is open read only. So if you started a job previous and now you started a new job completely different but they're referencing that job maybe it's another day they want to read back from that day I can go in and open that up, read back, close it, and still be in real time in my original job. So that's pretty cool. And you can use some of the a lot of the functions that are within the within the um, the search functions in case you have to go back and and search for something. You can use those functions within that open read only. And we'll come to that here in a little bit. Um, and then the last thing, which is file save. It saves the job if you feel strongly about saving the job in the middle of your job. On the next one over, oh, I'm sorry, it's still we're in the file menu. Uh, we do have an export to ASCII, and we probably won't get enough time to actually cover how to actually do it, but this is a function in here. If you need to deliver a dirty disk to somebody, you can. Um, export to RTF which is pretty cool because that'll let them open it up in any kind of word processing uh, software and it gives them a lot of flexibility within there to um, do underlines and stuff like that. It's much more flexible than the ASCII which was basically text and that was it. Have a nice day. Um, and then we have export to PTF and PTF stands for again Portable Transcript Format and the cool thing about PTF is um, it's compatible with uh, Live Note, Real Legal, um, and Summation. Which, if you've got people asking for that, so that they can import that into their software and do what they need to do, um, that feature is in there too. And also from the file uh, menu here is also uh, playback audio. If you needed to do it from that drop down menu, although we have a shortcut up on the toolbar, you can. Yeah, it'll play the audio that's on the screen. Um, and the last thing is job info. And it tells you uh, the name of the job that's currently open, the smart writer file name for that particular job, and how many entries there are in the job dictionary. And then the exit button exits the style menu, the stylus menu, but it keeps you within Windows. And I'm just going to pop out just for a second. I'm going to show you that window again. Here's that window with all that fun stuff that was in there. So it's export to text or ASCII. And if I click on job info, there it is. Oh. Right. I got it in the wrong place. Sorry, I was wrong about that. All right, guys, the next one is uh, edit, find, find again, and globals. Um, and actually, if anybody has any questions right now on the first one, um, I guess we could take any. Anybody? Bueller? I have one. Okay. Hello? Okay. Go ahead, Linda. This is Justine. Um, you said something about append on file. Is that on all writers or if you're on the or if you're on the current version of stylus, uh -huh. um, then you will have that. Um, that version, if you want to see what version you're on, you click on the question mark. And it'll tell you what version of stylus you have. And here, stylus version 2.11.1, .1, 
is the version that has the open and the penned. Oh, okay. I have version 2.9. Okay. Okay, never mind. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okie dokes. If that's all the questions from our onliners and anybody here, go ahead. Yes, it is. You would go online and download the update. Okay, and if you need... Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you have uh, online at home? Do you have internet at home? <coughs> 